Before you can reach out to your leads, you have to validate their email address or else you could be reaching out to invalid inboxes, destroying your mailbox reputation and domain reputation. And if that happens, that's not good, right? You're going to waste a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money. So today I'll show you one of the best ways to validate emails with bulk email checker. Now, if you want a, a bulk email che checker has a free email checker for 10 emails uh, a day. So for example, let's try Simon at MailForge uh, AI. Which I, I'm not a robot. I don't look like one. Check email. Uh, as you can see, it uh, returned a valid email address because it is valid. So this is good for people who don't want to do uh, a lot of email addresses. You want to check just a few. But if you want to do in bulk, you of course cannot use this. Do one by one and then the credits will not be enough. So what I suggest you do is uh, sign in into bulk email checker. And once you sign in, you'll see this now. Bulk email checker does what it says book email check so let me show you you can still do quick verification but the beauty of this platform is that you can purchase uh credits without any without any subscriptions right so you're not not tied to the platform you just buy as many as you need use them you need more you buy more right so it's a pretty pretty simple pricing structure and you have email validation credits meaning that if a book email checker cannot validate the email whether it's invalid or valid and it's uh, unknown it will not cost you those credits so now so now let me show you how to actually verify emails in bulk. So actually it's pretty simple. All you need to do is add a name for your uh, this project or, or whatever you call it to keep track, for example, tutorial, right? And then select a CSV file. And, he, and here we have imported a CSV. You can import whatever uh, you want, only leads. You can import a formatted like a leads name, first name, company name, then email, whatever, right? It doesn't matter because I'll show you how to export it in the end. So after that, you simply click import and then you'll have to wait for a uh, bulk email checker to de determine how many credits it may cost, how uh, long it may take to validate those emails, right? Uh, as you can see, you upload it and now you can select which column to actually validate. So I have first name and email addresses. That's why it's not a problem if you upload any CSV, right? Uh, you select email addresses, of course, and uh, select and then wait. Okay, so uploading has finished. As you can see, here's our name that we added right here, the label. Here's the CSV file name, right? And now we have a couple of options. You can pay 93 validation credits or boost to validate the emails faster in four minutes instead of 10 minutes and pay more credits. I usually just uh, do this and uh, I go on about my day. And simple as that, like uh, once you click this, it will start validating or you can do it faster with this, but uh, uh, that's the beauty basically of bulk email checker is that uh, if you decide to take some time if you allow if you have time it will cost you pennies on the dollar to validate the emails is one of the most affordable platforms that i found so once you uh, if this looks correct choose one of these options and then wait till it validates okay so as you can see uh, the emails are being validated now we're not going to wait for this i'll show you how everything looks like with a, with a uh, list i've done in the past right so once it's done it should look like this you'll see emails that are unknown, total of the uh, total emails processed, emails that have failed uh, validation and emails that have passed. So for unknown emails, you get a refund as you can see listed here, right? For your credits, because basically bulk email uh, checker couldn't uh, validate those emails. They don't know what uh, what's up with them. So they uh, re return the credits. You're, you're not charged for that. And once you're ready, you can export failed emails, past emails, you know, the emails that are valid or unknown emails or select basically export them all. So if you select this, it will look something like this where you have an option of everything. Again, this is a CSV. So you need to select everything, go to data, text to columns and next and comma finish. And then you see all those emails, right? So you see all the emails that have passed, the unknown emails, invalid if I can fail, uh, find, yeah, failed ones, right? So you have all the emails, basically your whole list. Of course, uh, you perhaps would like to do something that looks like this uh, ex and export only past emails. Then it will look like this. Now, now you will not need to do any cleanup because all of the emails are just uh, are valid right and you have all the first names because that's what we uploaded and that's done right you have a bunch of emails that are passed you select all of these uh, you basically delete these things because that's what we do not need 
and just plug it in into your email sending software like Salesforce and, and you're done, you can start blasting emails. Now, the last thing you should do about unknown emails is also export them and use my trick I show in this video to validate those emails for free and get even more out of your lead list. Be sure to check that out if you don't want to miss out on unknown leads and subscribe for more.